I'm living fast and furious like Brie Larson, apparently, dude. Did you guys hear about this? Brie Larson, America's sweetheart, is going to join Vin Diesel on Fast and Furious 10. Dude, I saw part 9 with John Cena. I don't know, man. This, this franchise should have ended at part 3, to be honest. I like, dude, my chair is wild. It'll click sometimes. Dude, my chair is a ticking time bomb, bro. Brie Larson joins Fast and Furious 10. Vin Diesel announces, oh my God, what, what the fuck is wrong with Vin Diesel's face, dude? That's like both of them, man. Some people shouldn't smile. Honestly, man, some people shouldn't smile, especially not like that. Especially people who have who who have all this money, bro, and they could freaking fix them teeth, and Vin Diesel chooses to look like this. I mean, there's people with with like worse teeth out there. Will Ferrell got some fucked up teeth, dude. But Vin Diesel hired America's sweetheart Brie Larson for the Fast and Furious Ten. There's 10 of these motherfuckers out there, and they ain't, they ain't slowing down, dude. Wasn't there a rumor it was just going to be 10? I don't know. From these morons at page 6, um, Vin Diesel will be... What the hell is she going to do, man? Are they going to gender swap Paul Walker? Uh, Brie Larson is joining the cast. Uh, French... Fast and Furious 10 franchise star and producer Vin Diesel announced via the Instagram Sunday night. Dude, Instagram is trash, man. It's like, ah, man. Elon Musk should just buy fucking everything, to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you both any. Vinny D. Um, yeah, you see this angel over my shoulder cracking me up? Sure. Um, you say to yourself, that's Captain Marvel. Dude, that is a failed ass franchise, isn't it? It should have just been like, yeah, that's the chick from American Pie 7 or some shit. Wasn't she one of those? I think she was in one of those shitty American Pie uh, spinoff sequel, whatever the fuck they're called. Um... Clearly, there is love and laughter in this image. The actor captioned a selfie with Larson. Th these are the ugliest fake smiles, dude. I don't know what's going on in this picture. This looks like... Dude, you know what this shit looks like? This shit looks like a fucking... You know, if you when you get your mail and it's like a fucking Medicaid insurance ad... Like those little, like those like Medicaid tags or some shit tags, like you know those pamphlets that they send in the mail, with like the grocery stores and shit, and it's like a Medicaid ad, and it's like United Healthcare or some shit on the bottom. It has some fucking people laughing for no fucking reason, They're looking all fucking stupid and shit. Vin Diesel is fifty four, dude. That's crazy. He looks like sixty four. Diesel54 went on to say that fans have no idea how timeless and amazing Larson32 will be in the movie. Dude, maybe she's not that bad. Maybe she just tried to, you know, be all like, hey, I'm a feminist and started talking shit for no reason. And then this is what happens, dude. You lose all the goodwill for people. Beyond her beauty, her intellect, her Oscar, ha ha. It ain't nobody give a flying shit about a, an Oscar. Will Smith got an Oscar. Nobody gives a shit. Like, these awards don't mean dick anymore. Like, it was back in the day. You had an Oscar. You were, like, the hot shit. Look, man. Get one of them fucking... In, one of them fucking TikTokers that I have no idea who they are. And they carry more clout than a fucking Oscar, bro. A fucking... A fucking TikToker. Nowadays, is worth more than a freaking Oscar, dude. That like, ask a fucking, ask a fucking um, I don't know, thirteen year old, maybe a thirteen year old will know who Brie Larson is, but they'll definitely know who Lil Yee Yee is. 
Is there a little a little Yigi out there? I don't know, but it sounds like some fucking TikToker will call himself Lil Yigi. Beyond her beauty, her intellect, her Oscar, haha, is this profound soul who will add something you might not have expected but yearned for. Cocaine? I don't know. He continued, welcome to the family, Brie. Brie Larson. Family. I don't know, dude. And then to be the last fucking movie. Dude, Gina Carano was in this fucking movies too. Angel of the Lord that Gina Carano is. They'd rather bring back um, Brie Chicken Feet Larson. The Captain Marvel star who won the Academy. Who won the Akata? Do I'm turning British right now. I don't give a shit. The Captain Marvel star who won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in 2015's Room, never seen it, it sounds boring, isn't the first Oscar winning actress who to grace the Fast and Furious film. Charlize Theron. Dude, I've always struggled to say that lady's name. They call yourself Carla or some shit. And Helen Mirren. Appeared in Fate of the Furious and F9, respectively. Dude, those movies were off the hook, man. They were like, and not in a good way. They were like, off the hook. Like, dude, that's off the, like, I don't know. I don't know if off the hook is the right. Dude, they were fucking retarded. Nobody's censoring me back here. We're in the freaking lost corner of the internet. I could see shit like retarded. Dude, I could drop a couple of M-bombs if I wanted. I just can't talk about the rainbow people, but hey, man, nobody can. Um, Larson's casting an announcement comes one month after it was revealed that Jason Momoa will be playing the villain in the 10th Fast and Furious installment. So they're getting Aquaman in it, too. Oh, man, dude. Remember when these movies were ab- remember when these movies were about stealing DVD players? Member berries? It was fucking, it was fucking Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, uh, that dude that was an asshole with a beard, a fucking pothead, and a retarded dude were freaking stealing DVDs, dude, from a freaking, from freaking trucks. And they made that shit look like fucking insane. It was fucking amazing, bro. They were like fucking... They were fucking stealing DVD players and all. And for some reason, they got the FBI involved in fucking DVD stealing, which, you know, shit, he could have been busting, I don't know, perverts or something. But yeah, man, let's fucking save the DVDs. Right. And Paul Walker goes and he's like, hey, Vin Diesel, what? like he he dude, Paul Walker was the undercover dude and he goes and Smashes with Vin Diesel's sister. And now they're saving the world from fucking Aquaman. Dude, didn't they go to space in the last one? They went to space, dude. Fucking. Yeah, man. It was fucking. um, Tyrese and Ludacris went to space in the last one. With like. And they had like fucking. They had like fucking duct tape spacesuits. Hold on, man. Let me let me. There was fast and furious. Nueve spacing. Yeah, dude, they go to fucking outer space. How crazy is it, man? How fucking crazy is it, dude? My father's diplomatic ties with Eastern Europe. Damn. Hold on, man. I might fucking get dinged for this shit, but I don't give a damn. They brought Lil Bow Wow back for it, too. And hold on, I gotta move my monitor. They brought Lil Bow Wow back, too. This might be too long. Say hello to the two That's the dude from part. The dude from part three yeah, looks like shit zero. now, man. It's like he used to. It's like they they found him smoking some rocks in the back or some shit. Lil Bow was right there. Lil Bow Wow got fat, bro. Lil Bow Wow got the curse of the thirties, dude. Wait, 
I don't know how they get away with this shit. They strapped, dude, they strapped a fucking rocket on a fucking Fiero. How does this work, dude? Wouldn't the fucking rocket just squish the car? Like, yeah, they reinforced it or something. Oh, this is where they're testing it, and it fucking blows up. So then Tyrese and Ludacris are like, shit, yeah, hell yeah, dude, let's go. Dude, sure, send the fucking... Send the two, send the black dudes. Hold on. They, they strapped them to a fucking jet. They strapped them to a fucking jet and they, they're using like scuba suits instead of fucking space suits. And they just fucking wrapped it with aluminum foil in the back. Crazy. Send the two black dudes to, to the death, to the deadliest mission, right? There you go. They got the rockets on and everything. How fucking crazy. They, they, they started with some retarded dude and Vin Diesel stealing DVD players. This is where that move. This is where this movie started, man. Now they're in outer space. That's crazy, dude. And they got magnets. Who knew you could do so much shit with magnets, dude? Every fucking show. This mo dude, this movie was basically them fucking around with magnets. Every freaking show is magnets, dude. Every freaking show is um about magnets. Crazy, man. Magnets.